up guys, Mary Gamer here, and welcome back to the JSONO fan server. And today we're going to be building the butcher shop, um, one of the butchers anyway, I've already got the layout kind of sorted. We're going to do the uh, cow butcher today. Uh, this It's a bit weird actually, I'm not 100% happy with the layout. I haven't actually even really, I didn't design this room like in creative, I just placed the blocks yesterday and I was like, yeah, that would do. These little areas, we're going to have our cows, I'm going to have like cows on display. But um, I didn't get a chance to do the tree that I said I was going to do because um, I ended up doing this and you're probably wondering what the hell this is. Uh, this is uh, where I've put all the villages for now, so... I've moved every single one of those villagers from the nether and they're all sitting here waiting to be transported. So they're in a safe location where no mobs can get them, it's all lit up. And the reason why this is here is so, like say if a zombie does spawn and tries and walks down here, he can't actually get to them. It's just just a safe way of like guaranteeing that they're not going to get, uh, not, not going to get hit. So um... Yeah, that, that was fun. That took me quite a long time. That actually took longer than I thought it was going to take, uh, moving all those damn villagers. But um, we do have our villager moved into the Merry Armory. So the Merry Armory is now open. So anyone that's wanting to come buy a few items, uh, please do have a visit. Uh, so we've got our lovely villager here. Uh, this one's a relatively new one that doesn't have many things unlocked. So I'm okay with that. We've got... I read this book uh, off camera. So this is Welcome to the Merry Armory. So I have a little read of this for you guys. So uh, it says here you'll be able to buy tools and armor, and it's at its cheapest. Oh, I put and and its cheapest. Damn it! It was supposed to be at. Oh well. Uh, I wish you could edit, but you can't. Um, just look at the item you wish to buy, and it will display the price. What armors do we sell? Four set of diamond, iron, chain, and gold. What weapons do we sell? We sell all weapons in iron and diamonds, but we do not sell the hoe. I don't see a real point of selling the hoe. Maybe in the future. Um, I'll have a weekly rotation, so, to give, give everyone a chance to, like, buy different items and all that sort of stuff, uh, so, like, this week we're gonna have diamond and iron, next week I'm gonna have, uh, gold and chain, and I'll kind of rotate every week on that. Uh, same with these, with iron and diamonds, I've only named this one, so you can buy this one for one diamond, this one's gonna be for two, this one's gonna be for two. Then, this is weird, um... I don't know what to sell the shovel for because, like, I can't sell for one diamond because, well, it only costs one diamond to make it, so I need to think of a different price for the shovel, uh, which is a bit annoying. Uh, weekly rotation, payment, delivery. So, you don't buy the items here. Well, you do buy the items here, but you don't collect them here. So, say if you want, like, three sets of iron armor or three sets of diamond armor or something like that, um, because you don't have to just buy like one set, you can buy multiple sets and I will deliver them to you within one to three business days. <laughs> I think that's what I wrote. Um, provide order, um, delivery is free, yep, um, we placed at your nether tunnel in one to three business days. Uh, thank you for shopping, all that sort of stuff. CEO of Mary Incorporated. Uh, so here I was going to have a logbook and I renamed it logbook, but I found out if you rename uh, like a writing book that hasn't been signed yet, like this, uh, you can't type in it anymore. I don't know if it's a bug or something, or if it's always been like that, but I noticed I renamed it, then I tried to type in it, and it didn't work, so it kind of bugged out on me there, which was kind of weird. But um, we're going to build the... Uh, I don't even need pillars, actually. Uh, we're going to build the... the butcher shop today. Uh, that's the project today. Um, I think I got everything I need. I actually will need more of that, I think. I'll take that. Let's just take more of that. Just practically take it all. Um, I'm going to go back in the house and actually just grab some glass and change that to black glass because we need some more of that. But, um, yeah, so the reason why I haven't really got to that, I, as I said, I was doing that, but uh, I've been a bit going to be a bit busy over this weekend. Uh, I got a nice long weekend. It's Labor Day weekend, which is wonderful. It means I don't have to go into uni on Monday, and Monday is my most heaviest day, which is uh, just brilliant. The fact that, like, it's annoying that you have, like, your heaviest day is Monday, but it is also really good when you have, like, bank holidays and stuff like that, because, like, you can just be like, well, I get the day off, and it means I won't have that much to do this week, which, oh, God, why am I act... Whoa, okay, apparently I was activating... I can't activate the chest... There we go. That was really weird. I was activating all them. 
Great, that's going to be annoying. I'll have to fix all them. Don't know why. I've never actually had that issue before. Um, let's do that and let's take that and let's just split a bit of that, a bit of that, and that should be all we need. So let's do that. But yeah, so I got the long weekend, a um, bit of time to relax, but not overly either, because um, Tuesday is a bit of an annoying day. Uh, I got one class, literally, my uni schedule works out, I have like my biggest day Monday, then every other day, like um, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I have to go in for one class. But um, Tuesday's class is one of my maths classes, and I have a, technically like a mini test, like a quiz. Uh, but it's worth 10% of my final grade, and I have, um, we have like four of them to do, and the best three get counted, so overall I have like 30% of my grade to like these mini tests, which isn't too bad, it means like I don't have to do a mid-semester, which is great, because I hate exams, and it's a bit easier doing it this way, but uh, also very frustrating at the same time, because, well, oh, god damn it, it had to rain, didn't it? <laughs> it's always raining on this server. Um, because it means that I can't really enjoy my long weekend, really, because like, I'll have to put a few hours, damn it, a few hours into studying the, uh, the stuff that I'm going to be tested on. But oh well, it's all, it's all part, oh, not there, it's all part of uh, the uni life, I have a guess, is with my courses, just tests upon tests. Uh, how many are these windows? These are four high, so I technically have to go one more, one more up, so we're going to do that. Um, which is going to make it a bit weird. So we still need to then go two up, don't we? Because then you're going to go one here. And then you have to have the one layer above it. Yeah, okay. I don't even know if I have enough court. God damn it. All right. Uh, these ones, we're going to... I don't even know if I'll have the white there. But what I'm going to do is... Let's do this. Yeah, I don't know if I have enough quartz for all this, so if I don't, then that really does suck. Um, I, I don't even know how this building's going to look. It's literally just like I laid out the floor plan. I was like, yeah, that will do. Let, let, let's go with that. It's more on the front that I actually have a concern over how it's going to look. Because it doesn't line up properly with this, so I might have to change something. I don't know, but hopefully it's not too bad. I should have enough quartz, though. I'm pretty sure I do. It's not too bad, actually. Like how much quartz? Like, yeah, we still got... Yeah, we, we should have plenty of quartz for this. I literally got most of this quartz, actually. Like, um, I was a bit low on... Oh, that's gonna... Oh, no, it didn't. Okay, I thought it was gonna glitch and push me off again. Uh... I did have a bit of quartz left over from the other build, but since I moved all the villagers across, I took, like, if you remember, they were in that quartz, like, trading hall room. So, um, I ripped all that up as well, and that's given me a huge amount of quartz that I have to spare, which is wonderful. And you might be looking at this wondering, what's this? Um, the village is going to be here. And then if I ever want to get in, I'll just break the block and go down. Uh, that's where I'm going to have, like, underground is where we're going to have the setup for all the cows for slaughtering and breeding. So, because uh, this this shop's going to shell, no, shell, uh, sell uh, leather and beef. Uh, do I have, oh, I'm a bit low on cyan clay, aren't I? Three, uh, I'm not going to be able to reach you. Yeah, I'm a bit low on that, but that's all right. All right, let's do this. And then we'll finally have some sort of roof, not roof, but like walls up. All right, so let's go down here. So this kind of gives an idea. It's actually, hmm. See, this is why I need to decide. Do I want the white glass where these cows are going to be kept? Because this is going to be like that. I don't even know what's going to fill. That might be like a skylight or something. But let's just fill in this. Oh, we got more glass to fill in here. Got all this to do. So, um, most of the buildings, like, I wasn't going to have this as a really big building, but I decided to kind of expand it so it could be a big building so I can have, like, some cows on display. Then I was like, oh, should I have, like, four cows on display? And then I was like, nah, there's no need. 
Hey there. No longer alone on the server. And for some reason we have like health, like that like heart instead of the actual number. I think someone's I think rule on or someone's been messing with a few things, changing it around a bit. Uh, I really don't know how to do that edge there. That's the only edge I'm a bit concerned about. Uh, we need to get in here anyway. And did I do... Oh, I've lost connection. Let's just rejoin there. I, I'm getting a few connection difficulties again recently. I don't know why. Just, ra just random... Um, oh, I'm, I'm glitching the block again. How wonderful. So now there's going to be a whole episode of me trying to break out of this... I don't have an axe on me either, which really, okay, this is what's going to save me. Ender pearls normally work in this situation. There we go. Alright. I don't know why I get that, it's weird. But, uh, we're going to do this. Four. We're going to have to make more of these as well, aren't we? Yep. So that's, oh, do I not? Yeah, I do have a crafting table, wonderful. I get really nervous actually now. Um, when we get lightning storms on the server, because since I got these big trees, I'm worried that, you know, if a... Because I, I know if a fire starts, the rain will put it out, but, like, some trees have, like, different levels and ways of hiding from, like, the rain. So it makes me concerned when I hear it, because it's like... It could hit a tree and burn it down without actually getting hit by the rain, which could really screw me over badly, actually, which I don't want to happen. Um, how am I going to do this? I think you could actually be like that, maybe? But then what do we do in this top edge? Uh, I don't even have any dirt on me. Let's go get some dirt so I can pillar up, because I don't want to pillar up with our materials here. Uh, do we... Yeah, we have white glass on us. Uh, dirt, there we go. So we still got a lot of work to do around the island, but we're finally starting to get things done. Uh, these buildings here are going to be much smaller than this. Uh, nowhere near as big as... Um, nowhere near as big as this butcher. This is going to be the biggest of the butchers. Uh, how are we going to do this? I reckon... I needed that crafting table, you know. <laughs> I just realised I need that crafting table. Could we do, like, maybe like a cyan... Yeah, that's not too bad. It's alright. It could be better. I might change this in the future, but we do need to kind of get a roof going now, so... Uh, this is going to be all like the same sort of system as the last one. It's like quartz slabs around the edge because it just stops spawning. Uh, we could even put quartz slabs down there, I have a guess. Uh, Okay, I'm going to turn these sounds down. Uh, weather. Just like turn it down to like 1% or something. Because it does get sometimes ridiculously loud. Um, we should have it. I turn weather down to like 1%. Wow, this, this is... I think we get like much stronger storms than normal places because like since we're like really close to the ocean I think like we just get it really strong compared to other people uh, I want to enclose this like that because we're gonna have a little glass uh, wait hold on is that oh did I already fill in that bit okay so all right no worries all right so now we're gonna put that um, oh wait, no, we didn't need to put that because we're going to do that. Put the glass on top, you know, give the cows a little skylight. We lost that. Rad's decided to leave us alone. <laughs> uh, let's go back over here. She's probably having connection issues, I have a guess. Let's do that. Now, how are we going to do this? Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's think for a second. I th I'm thinking... Hello. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's ridiculous the um, like the lightning we get in this area as well. I kind of just want to have a look down here. How that doesn't actually look too bad, to be honest. Like, if we give this some half slabs, like up here, it might look all right as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. Like, it could be better, but. 
I'm not too fussed actually at the moment. Oh, we're gonna need to like do like that. Now the roof, the roof. Uh, I haven't thought. I kind of want to keep the theme of the glass roof. Okay, no. This lightning's just like it's probably not even strong on on uh, your end. It's just my headset's probably really loud. But uh, it's easy for me to talk because it is a ridiculous amount of lightning going on. Uh, so how do we want to do this? I think this area needs to be different than the other area. So could we like do that? Go like this. And like just do like that over... I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> I think it might have been my brother downstairs, I swear I just heard, like, a scream. <laughs> um, yeah, that's alright, that's alright. Uh, now let's do this. I don't have a lot of white stained glass on me, actually, so I have to be a bit careful. Because I know I have some at the house, but it means I have to run back to the house and do it. Then lighting, I need to think of lighting, but that's not a massive issue for now. So let's do that. Then, yeah, yeah, that'll look really nice, because then we can do this. I hope I, I think I have enough materials for all this, actually. If we do, then that's perfect. Because it means then I don't have to worry about doing a cut, go and have to collect more materials. So we can do that. And then... We can do that. Jesus! <laughs> Bloody hell. This lightning is crazy. Maybe we should go sleep, <laughs> because it is insane. All right, well, that, that's the building blocked off now. So let's, like, break this and let's have a look at how this building looks. Let's look from a distance. You know what? It doesn't look too bad. The front looks a bit derpy here. I, I might fix this. I'll figure out a way to make it look a bit nice, a bit better. I might raise that up by one and lower that down. Maybe just swap them around. That might make it look nicer. Uh, but here, here we need to decide. Do we want to have, like that but then like you're gonna block the view of the cow I have a feeling like the cow now should we have I reckon we should have like that will look nice actually if we do this Let me grab that oh the rain stopped I think yeah the rain stopped okay well I can put my video settings back to weather to about there um I reckon if we do that, then that, yeah, that looks pretty nice. Like, should be that or should be white glass? Let's test white glass on this side. Let's get the white. Oh, I don't know which one to use. Black suits with the rest of the build, but the white does look okay, but I think the white is okay just in the roof, so I think we're gonna keep the black. So we're gonna put the cows in here, they can, you know, just sit there, we might name both of them. We need to make like a big cow pen down here and everything, get a villager in here. Uh, so that means we're gonna get a villager in there, we need to like block this off. Um, I do that for now. Just do like that. Can I like do like that? No, I want to go. Oh, hey, blue. Uh, and let's go like here. Then we could put like like that. I don't know. That looks really dopey. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that out. That, that's not that's not a massive issue. It's just more about like keeping the villager in so he can't get out. Um, but the building doesn't look too bad. I need to fix this. I need to move that light one across. Oh, you can hear the villager from over there. Uh, there's one other thing I want to build. Um, it's going to be here. I've decided I'm going to build like a house here. It's going to be like a house to go with the lighthouse. But the difference is, it might have like a village or two, like on, like in the house. But then I might have like a basement, which will go to a villager trading hall. So all the spare villagers that we have um, will turn into like a villager breeding and trading hall, so we can get like some proper big trades instead of just having some. Because really, I just wanted the villagers around to make them look like shopkeepers, really. But um, we really do want to turn some of them actually into like a proper trading hall. 
But I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I know it's probably not a long one. I really don't know the time, actually, so I haven't kept track of it. I might change the front a bit to kind of make it look less derpy, because it does look a bit shit, <laughs> to be honest. Um, going to try and get the tree done. I, I really want to get that tree done, because it's annoying me, but i still got a lot more trees to build. Um, probably the next episode, we we'll, might build this building and this building to get the, like the butchers all done then we'll look at the general store maybe and then afterwards we don't really have that many buildings to go like we have the potion we have the library and like enchant store we got the well and everything to fix up and then if we build that other building then after that it's just like the beach area that we need to set up like have like a little private beach with the tiki bar and like the palm trees and all that sort of stuff so we're getting actually pretty close to getting it done um we're still like a little while away I need to get a witch to go into the potion shop uh i did have a name tag on me but i lost it i can't remember where i put it but anyway guys uh that is going to be it for this episode um i hope you all have enjoyed it hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you all next time catch you later guys